Hey guys, Morgan Overholt here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to tell you exactly how to disable the auto capitalization in Google Docs. In this video, I'm going to include information about how to disable this feature in Google Docs on both the desktop app as well as your mobile devices. So stick with me, all right? But first up, desktop. So let me share my screen with you. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a Google Doc up and ready to go. So this is a really super simple process. All you have to do is you go to tools, it's located at the top menu. You're gonna scroll down to preferences to open up the preferences window. And then you are going to toggle this either on to automatically capitalize words or off for the program to stop automatically capitalizing words. Then you're gonna click okay. Now you can type in the app and guess what? No more caps. You're welcome. All right, now are you ready to do this on your mobile device? Okay, so I do have a little bit of bad news for you. There is technically no way to actually disable the auto caps option in Google Docs on your mobile apps, but there is a workaround, okay? So we'll show you that really quickly. Uh, there's two different ways to do it, depending on whether or not you're on an Android or an iPhone device. First up, we'll tell you how to do it on Android. Step number one, open up your phone system settings. Step number two, search for and select text corrections. Step number three, toggle auto capitalization off. Typically speaking, if the feature is turned on, the toggle will be blue. If it's turned off, it's gonna be gray. Now let's talk about how to do this on an iPhone. Again, you're gonna open up your phone system settings. You're gonna scroll down until you see general. You're gonna select general and then select keyboard. Then you're gonna to toggle auto caps off. Similar to Android, in most cases, a toggle will be green if it's on, it'll be gray if it's off. I will issue one last word of warning if you're doing this on one of your mobile devices, this will affect absolutely every single text input app on your phone from email to messages to everything else. So you will probably want to go back and re-enable that at some point. It's just kind of a, a, a workaround, if you will. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.